Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going over uh, emerald pack items, uh, the mutated emerald pack. So the so this is going to be this is only used early game. This section here, this section is is only is used early game. Can use in mid game. So basically. It's too much for the game, so it can only be used mid game and can be used late game of like normal progression packs and and regular packs. And this is just only really used for extreme or can be used in extreme, which is only like two items that go in there. But yeah, so the first item we have on the list is well, the solar refiner. This seems great. No power, uh, it's a total of four times, so stick drop, where is my stick dropper? So, we go ahead, grab a stick, and grab a copper, actually we don't even need, because it tells us how much, right? Yeah, yeah it's a, it's a four times, and it consumes no power at all, which is great, as you see, four times. And this is great for early game, so it's going. It already went there. It's like <laughs> if it doesn't consume power, it's great and it, it's really useful. Next on the list, uh, the Wizard League Cobble Fountain. So, um, this is consumes a total of one thousand power, and it well, and it drops ores that are worth two hundred dollars. Honestly, this is, it kind of sucks. Um, I mean, it kind of sucks late game, but it's only really used early game. So we just throw it there. I don't, it, it's really not used anywhere else, it, in my opinion. So, yeah. All right, so the next one is the quad tech. And it does a total of two times and consumes 4KU, which is actually a little bit. And it's like, even though it says quad attack, it, it literally just multiplies ores by two, uh, if I can put on the right side. <laughs> so it consumes 4KU power, but I mean, this can be used early game, but it's it's only two times. I recommend it more for mid game because it it is a little bit space heavy, but it can be used. But it'd be I don't know. I think you're better off using like regular upgraders, so it's better for mid game. So So anyways uh, cause well it's only two times, and it just kinda sucks. <laughs> the deficient, it, but it's a multiplier, so I guess it's fine. So, we have the deficient mutated emerald charger. This is actually kind of decent. It literally just adds ores, adds a uh, value to the ore. So if we let that go ahead and, uh, yeah, we wait for that. That is a plus 5,000 to any ore. This thing is actually really good. And it only consumes 2,000 power. I mean, it's... I mean, it's not that great uh, come late game, but it's mostly years early game. But it is great. I mean, with all, like, the droppers... Like, as soon as you like, get, like, this, for example, it, it becomes irrelevant. But it, it's only really used early game. So, anyways, the next one is the uh, mutated emerald charger. And that is this. This thing's actually interesting. It consumes... Uh, it consumes... 8KU... And it does a total of two times, three times. So a total of eight. 
so if we go ahead and throw down a stick dropper and we will see that it is worth uh, if it'll yeah, it, can it okay go to wait a second so we will see it's a wor to worth a total of oh yeah I forgot there's also a catch to it the ores have to be worth a million dollars so you need a need a haunted estate and you need some kind of valuable ore for example we'll, we will do um that's what is valuable let's uh go with all right we'll go with rebel dropper actually no that's still worth something out one one five four this thing is worth like nothing so because this is worth uh, 154, so it's very nice for for testing something like this. See, it's worth 8 million, but and this gives a uh, plus 1 million, and then this gives a total of 8. So it's an 8 times. I have this because it can only upgrade or after 1 million, so it's actually a uh, more used uh, mid game, but it is actually really good. So. I'll give it to that. It, it's pretty decent. And uh, I think you can only use it. Uh, let's see. You can only use it after your Mithra attachments. So, which is pretty good. So, what is next? And next is the Emerald Blade. Alright, so the Emerald Blade uh, is 1.5 times, but it only can, but it also consumes four. Uh, it was just a consume. Uh, it consumes 4.5k, and it does a total of 1.5 three times. So, so once we get this to go through, you'll see that it is worth. How much? It's for 3.375, so a total of like three times, a little bit more than three times. But it, the, to get to powering it, it's kind of annoying, so, uh, which makes it, well, just kind of a mid game item. Because it, it does multiply, but it's still pretty decent. So. Yeah. Pretty great. Uh and then the deficient deficient emerald attachment upgrader. Now, this thing is interesting. So this thing does uh 7.5% each time. I also need a conveyor. So if I go ahead, just give myself a bunch of conveyors. Just to store down some conveyors. Alright. Drop. Alright, so it does a total of 2.95 times. Because it can be only used 15 times, although the only issue with this is that it consumes a lot. It consumes 8,000 power per year for only 7.5 percent. Now, honestly, it kind of sucks, and I don't honestly just put it here. It it's only used late game for like a couple extra multiplier, but it's really not that great. Uh. It, you don't want to use it this early. You want to use it later when you actually have power. And that's like the only really thing good for it. Alright, now we're on. Because those were all like the main pack items. So. We got the, the deficient. We got these two guys. Uh, let's move this here. here. We got these two guys. This guy. These guys here. And this. This is... 
what it looks like so far. The next one is the Platinum Solar Cell. So, so this it's a symbol. It, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it here. It can be used early game, and it generates one trillion power. It, it's that simple. <laughs> I mean, you can't ask for a really nice generator, although it's only during day, but it's still very good for free power. It allows you to skip a little bit of um, progression. If you do get it, but it's a really rare chance, so don't expect to get it on your first pack. <laughs> uh, the Robo Dropper. Robo. If I can spell it, Ro. Oh. Dropper. There we go. Now this is just this is actually uh more of like another pack item, but it it, it is still decent. This thing consumes uh 32 u units of power, which honestly you can use early game and it's great. So. Yeah, it's a very nice upgrader, and it also is useful for uh, getting your stuff up to here, the Diamond Basic Enchanter. Because this is worth as much as the diamond from this, uh, right here. So, you can get free money a lot easier, and it will skip a bit more progression, because this is also worth a lot. So, which is... I which, makes it very nice to have and yeah so very cool and uh, the next one on the list is uh, is a crimson force now there is an issue with the crimson force uh, this do this does uh, five 524,288 times total, but it's a two times, and you have to use 19 of these. My only issue is that it consumes 100 billion. And it's only ever really used late game, and you can only upgrade one ore at a time. So, you're just better off um, using this late game, and this is persistent to extreme. I mean, it's an it's an upgrade you can use in extreme. It it consumes a lot, but it's great. If it, if you can persist to extreme, it's decent and can be used. So there's no issue with this. Uh, although it is a bit of an issue for um, starting out, but it, it's a nice upgrader. Although you can only do one ore at a time, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Uh, and then the last one, the marble of the pack, the Dapper Snowman Dropper. This is probably one of the, which I think this is the second uh, best uh, zero power uh, production. And it generates uh, one trillion. <laughs> just straight up one trillion, does not consume any power. And it's persistent to extreme. This is at, this is required to do extreme mode, but if you do get this in your pack, it, you have a really much easier time. So this, actually, I'm just, I'm gonna put this here because this can be used early game, and it can be used as like an actual dropper. It's really good, and it's also used in extreme. So this is a separate tier list. So yeah, those are the emerald pack items. There are not a lot, but those are all the items. So as a recap, this is only can be only used early game and quickly replaced. And all the other tiers are um, relevant to the progression in the game. So this is can be used early game. So th here is where the better items are. Uh, kind of, because these are really great for the power consumption of what they consume. These are not so great, because this one consumes a lot, but it's only two times. This one requires and consumes a lot. 
This one is kind of decent, but also consumes a, a lot. This one just kind of just sucks by itself. You'd be better off just not using it for the power consumption until like later when you actually have power. But it's only like three times you're missing if you don't place it. So do you really want to when you drop them? It's just better off with it. But you can also place it like this. Like for example like this and just have it placed inside items. So it's still kind of decent, but not terrible. And then these two are just okay. No, nothing about it. I mean, I don't like, I don't use it half the time because I don't need to use it, but it is useful. And and one for one more funny thing I like doing with this is to uh, block resources because I have uh, a colossal panel and for extreme mode. So what I like to do is I like to. So I would, uh, so basically I would have like a conveyor system, like, uh, cause you don't get elevated conveyors, uh, for extreme mode, or at least, um, I think there are new conveyors from Sapphire Pack, but I don't know cause I don't have everything. But anyways, uh, basically what you do is you elevate it and then you put it over and you put it down. And this will stop all ore traffic, and when you want the ores to release, you just put it up, or you, or you just uh, withdraw it, and then have your ores go through your upgraders, or what I like doing is pushing it through the Tesseract, because I, I have the power only during the day. So, that's what I like doing with it. So, yeah. That's the tier list. It, uh, one more recap. Only used early used it can be used in early can and up so basically it's this way so better here so used in early game and up and really good uh kind of okay but used mid game and late game uh late game can kind of be used but not really uh although it's only issue with the regular items like the mute never any item that such mutation is that it can only be used up to a certain point. For example, if I go ahead and take this and bring out a ghostly town, because at this point you pretty much have the ghostly town. Just the moment you get a ghostly town, the old emerald packs become irrelevant. Because as you see, it can't emerald items cannot upgrade deity ores, but they're still decent. They're good, can be used, and I recommend using them, because they're, they're great. <laughs> Except maybe this one. <laughs> Just kidding, they're all good. They all they all have their downsides, but they're all balanced. So yeah, that is the tier list of the Emerald Packs, and you can refer to this at any point. So yeah, I will see you guys later, and my... And goodbye.